video in the Ratchet X video series. Today we're going to look at an integration between Intuit's QuickBooks and Microsoft's SharePoint. You'd think with QuickBooks and SharePoint dominating their respective markets that an inexpensive, easy to use and quick to deploy solution for linking the two systems would exist. Unfortunately for QuickBooks users, there really hasn't been a SharePoint integration solution. Until now. Let's take a look at a simple example. In this example, I'm using the QuickBooks 2011 sample database and navigating to the Vendor Center. From here, I'll select the vendor ABC Computers. When I'm brought to the Edit Vendor screen, note the Ratchet X Magic button appears in the title bar, letting me know that Ratchet X recognizes the screen and could perform certain functions for me based on the data contained within ABC Computers record, or as we call it, the record's context. When I click the Magic button, I'm presented with a list of functions that Ratchet X can perform for me. In this case, I can either look up documents located in my SharePoint system, or I can perform an address verification on ABC Computer's billing address. Since this is a SharePoint integration demo, let's select Jump to SharePoint for ABC Computers. When I do, Ratchet X extracts the vendor name from the QuickBooks screen and initiates a SharePoint search for all the documents related to ABC Computers. In this case, since there is only one related document, Ratchet X instructs SharePoint to automatically open the document. If there were multiple hits, the normal SharePoint search results screen would have been displayed. From there, I would then just click the document I wanted. Let's close this and move on. Now I'm navigating to the Customer Center, where I can initiate a search for all documents related to a specific customer. When I navigate to the Edit Customer screen for customer Oscar Matisox, a Ratchet X button is placed in the title bar. However, this time the icon is different than the normal Magic Button. This is called a Magic Button Override. A button override occurs when Ratchet X detects there is only one function it can perform from a given screen. Via the button override, rather than displaying the Magic Button and then requiring a click to see what's available, Ratchet X displays a button that links directly to the single function available for this screen, thus eliminating unnecessary clicks. In this case, the only function available is to perform a jump to SharePoint. Let's click the Override button. When I do, the customer name is extracted from the QuickBooks screen and the query to SharePoint is initiated. Since there are multiple documents related to Oscar Matisox, SharePoint returns the full list of hits rather than bringing me to a specific document. Let's click the Notice of Claim document. When I do, the document is loaded. Now there's something else interesting to note here. A magic button override appears in the Document window as well. This button allows me to perform a jump to to another application called My CRM using information in the document as search parameters. So when I click the button override, Ratchet X loads the My CRM application, passes in the search criteria, and initiates a search that brings me to Oscar's record in that system. So what we've done here is initiated a search for Oscar's documents from QuickBooks, which brought us to a specific document in SharePoint from which I was able to jump to Oscar's record in the My CRM system. That's pretty neat. So there you have it. You've just seen Ratchet X perform a simple but powerful integration between QuickBooks and SharePoint. Beyond this, Ratchet X can be configured to perform jumps to any type of content managed by SharePoint, as well as complex workflows that involve multiple screens across multiple applications. If you have any questions regarding how you can use Ratchet X, just give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon.